I'm here with this giant pile of lumber, which is two foot cutoffs left over from the fence we just had built. I'm gonna use it in the backyard for a small fence around the garden. Welcome to Hack a Week. Here we are in the backyard. There's the two uh, gardens that we're going to put the fence around with this two foot long cutoffs left over from that fence back there. So we'll get started by organizing the far garden here. It got moved a little bit the other day when they had to put the fence in and I just shoveled all the dirt over and moved the timber. So we'll get the outline for that set up, then we'll get the dirt leveled out, then we're going to rototill everything, then we'll put up our fence made out of these two foot boards. So let's get to work. Got to relocate the lavender. And the sage plant. Here's a tradition that goes way back here in the south. It's uh, UPC shucking. Yeah, it takes uh, a certain talent in the right five gallon bucket to throw it in. How long you been doing this? Uh, I don't know, since I can walk. Yep, yeah, so we're gonna shuck these of the UPCs and we're gonna get set up right here to build the fence stuff. Because we've got all the dirt moved and everything is uh, all laid out perimeter wise. Fence time. What do you smell there, Fritz? There it is behind me, the fence that Dino and Lisa built. Let's take a closer look. You saw the eight foot panels that were put together on the ground first. Hi, Sophie. Well, we joined them together on the ends right here, like that. It's just a uh, kind of a corner butt joint. A little bit of glue on that. Halfway down, uh, right here on the two eight foot pieces that joined together, I just did an overlap like this where a little bit of this board overlapped on this one. And then there's a screw in there. And then it's staked to the ground right here. And all of those pieces are joined together like that at the corners. And there's a stake in the middle on each end. And then there's a stake in the middle of each one of the eight footers right here. And so the thing is pretty sturdy all the way around. Also, on the bottom, uh, all of these boards are screwed to this bottom piece that's all the way around, just some landscape um, poles. Sophie, I think we're ready to rototill. That's the next step, is to get in there with the rototiller, get this stuff all tilled up nice, and it's ready to start receiving plantings. Mix in some compost while we're at it. And that's about all there is to go on this project. So it's about that easy to put together a fence out of just some scrap lumber. Uh, go check out construction job sites, go on the site and uh, ask if there's someone that you can get permission to scrounge through the lumber pile. Watch out for the nails and the feet, ouch. But anyway, 
it's uh, pretty easy to find stuff like that and you can repurpose it with just a little bit extra lumber and turn it into a nice little fence with ease. Not too hard to do at all. I think I invested $50 in this whole project and both of these gardens will be fenced in when I'm all done. And now it's time to till. So, tilling the soil. So, I hope you picked up a thing or two about how to build a fence from just about any lumber you have laying around or scrap lumber that you might be able to find somewhere or go to the hardware store, buy something like this and build this. But you know the basics now of how to put a fence together and how to anchor it in the ground. Now we need to get busy planting some seeds in here. We've already got a few rows going, but we're gonna keep on going. So, hope you enjoy the new video look. Until next time. So, tilling the soil with an electric internal, yeah, not electric, <laughs> internal combustion. That would be an internal combustion engine in this thing. Okay. <clears throat>